हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय सेल्फ लेक्चरर अदिती अनिल कुशारे मास्टर ऑफ फार्मसी इन क्वालिटी अशुरन्स टेक्निक्स नाऊ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फार्मास्युटिक्स टू एक्सपेरिमेंट्स इन दॅट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इमल्शन इंट्रोडक्शन टू बायफेजिक लिक्विड डोसेज फॉर्म्स इमल्शन अँड इमल्शन इज अ हेट्रोजिनस सिस्टीम कन्सिस्टिंग ऑफ ऍटलिस्ट वन एमिसिबल लिक्विड dispersed in the form of droplets diameter that is 0.1 micrometer to 100 micrometer is called dispersed phase and the liquid in which the globules are dispersed is called continuous phase the two immiscible liquids cannot be dispersed for long period so an emulsifying agent having the peculiar structure in which one end is a hydrophilic and other is a lipophilic is used because of that it is possible for emulsifying agent to form a thin film at the interface and reduce the interfacial tension so let's see about the classification of emulsion that is the simple classification is oil in water o by w type and water in oil means w by o type in this oil in water o by w type we have oil is a internal phase while water acts as a acts as a external phase while in this water in oil type w means water which is a internal phase while oil is a external phase there are the tests to decide the type of emulsion there are total four tests that is the dye test dilution test conductivity test and fluorescence test so the emulsifying agents can be divided as follows the emulsifying agents are natural semi synthetic synthetic inorganic and alcohols so in natural there are two types vegetable source and animal source in vegetable we have gum acacia tragacanth agar pectin starch then erium moss that is chondrus and animal source means wool fat egg yolk gelatin semi synthetic methyl cellulose sodium carboxy methyl cellulose that is sodium cmc synthetic anionic cationic non ionic which containing charges anionic means containing negative charge cationic positive charge non ionic that are chargeless inorganic milk of magnesia magnesium oxide magnesium trisilicate magnesium aluminum silicate and bentonite and the alcohols that is carbovaxes cholesterol lecithins then emulsions for oral mixture are made with naturally occurring gums as they are inert with the respective therapeutic agent acacia is the best emulsifying agent for extemporaneous preparation for oral emulsion and are the stable over a wide range of ph that is 2 to 10 but they are too sticky for external use the tragacanth increases the viscosity however it is not good emulsifying agent the monovalent soaps which form o by w that is oil in water type of emulsion means in which oil is a internal phase while water is acts as a external phase this o by w type of emulsion are not useful for oral mixture as they cause hemolysis preparation of emulsions the following methods are commonly used for the preparation of emulsions on a small scales that is dry gum method wet gum method bottle method and other methods first of all let's discuss about dry gum method in this first of all we have to measure the required quantity of oil in a dry measure and transfer it into a dry mortar then add the calculated quantity of gum acacia into it and triturate so as to form a uniform mixture then third one add required quantity of water and triturate vigorously till a clicking sound is produced and the product becomes white or nearly white due to the total internal reflection of light the emulsion produced at this stage is known as primary emulsion then fourth one add more of water with the trituration to produce the required volume then the following table shows the proportion of oil water and gum acacia required for different types of oils serial number type of the oil example ratio of oil as to water as to gum so first of all fixed oil example castor oil almond oil arachis oil cod liver oil the ratio of oil as to water as to gum is 4 as to 2 as to 1 second volatile oil that are turpentine oil pe- peppermint oil and cinnamon oil ratio of 
oil as to water as to gum is 2 as to 2 as to 1. Third one, mineral oil, liquid paraffin, ratio of oil as to water as to gum is 3 as to 2 as to 1. Then wet gum method, second method of preparation of emulsion is wet gum method. In this method, the proportion of oil as to water as to gum for preparing the primary emulsion is the same as given in the table. Calculate the quantity of oil, water and gum required for preparing the primary emulsion. Then powder the gum acacia in a mortar, add water and triturate it with gum as to form mucilage. Then third one, add the required quantity of oil in the small portion with the rapid trituration until a clicking sound is produced and the produce, it will become white or nearly white. At this stage, the emulsion is known as primary emulsion. Then fourth one, add more of water in small portion to the primary emulsion with the trituration to produce the required volume of uniform emulsion. And fifth one, transfer the emulsion to a bottle, cork it, label and submit. Then third one, bottle method. Bottle method is used for the preparation of emulsions of volatile and other non-viscous oils. This proportion of oil as to water as to gum is 2 as to 2 as to 1. Measure first one, measure the required quantity of the oil and the transfer into a large bottle. Add required quantity of powdered gum acacia. Then second one, shake the bottle vigorously until the oil and gum are mixed thoroughly. Third one, add the calculated amount of water all at once. Then fourth one, shake the mixture vigorously to form a primary emulsion. Fifth one, add more of water in a small portions with the constant agitation to produce the required volume. Then recommended container, screw, capped, plain bottles. Special labeling instructions are shake well before use as it is a liquid dosage form. Then NMRs, these are the solutions, suspensions or oil in water emulsions of medicaments intended for rectal administration. Container is a single use plastic pack with the rectal nozzle. So in next session we will see about the experiments. Experiment number 37. Title of this experiment is to prepare and submit the acacia emulsion containing soluble substance that is 10 ml. This is the formulation of emulsion which contains the soluble substance like ferric ammonium citrate. Learning objectives are to understand the use and the method of preparation of emulsion containing soluble substances and the ability to prepare the emulsion carefully and level it correctly. Apparatus required are mortar, pistol, measuring cylinder, pipettes, beaker. Factor calculated as quantity required upon quantity given that is equal to 10 upon 90 is equal to 0 0.11. Prescription given in the Latin that is by denoted by the symbol Rx. Then we have this formula table that is the type means the name, use or the role of ingredient. Translation means the, sorry this is type is the category, use or role of ingredient. Translation means the name of ingredient. Quantity given in the imperial system for 90 ml. Quantity given in the metric system to prepare up to 90 ml. And quantity taken in metric system to prepare up to the 10 ml. So we have first of all cod liver oil that is a source of vitamin A and D. Ounce I means 30 into 1 that is 30 ml. So we have quantity taken that is 3.3 ml. This is calculated with the help of factor. Syrup, sweetening and flavoring agent. Ounce 2, so 30 into 2, 60 ml that is 6.6 .6 ml. Ferric ammonium citrate, hematinic. Ounce I means 30 ml, 30 into 1, 30 ml. So 3.3 ml. Cinnamon water used as a vehicle add ounce 3, so 30 into 3 that is 90 ml. And quantity taken should be the quantity sufficient up to 10 ml. Acacia emulsion stabilizer which is the quantity given in metric that is quantity sufficient and quantity taken in metric system is 0.2 gram. Direction 2 teaspoonful to be taken twice a day. So now let's move for performing of actual experiment in laboratory. So in this experiment we have this cod liver oil as I have taken in this beaker. Then second one, this is the sucrose. From this sucrose, I already previously prepared this sucrose solution. This is a ferric ammonium citrate which is a previously weighed. And this is the acacia which is the emulsion stabilizer as I previously weighed and taken on this beaker. And this is purified, uh, sorry, cinnamon water. So now, we have to first of all take this cod liver oil, then gum acacia and 
the cinnamon water in mortar and pestle and we have to use the dry gum method in this particular experiment so i taken first of all acacia into this mortar then i am going to add this cod liver oil into it and after properly triturating it i am going to add this cinnamon water into it and again going to triturate it properly so now i am going to add this sucrose solution that is syrup into this cinnamon water then after that i am going to stir it properly and then after proper stirring now i am going to add that is ferric ammonium citrate into it and again stir it properly to form the clear solution now i am going to add this syrup solution into our previously prepared the primary solution of that acacia cod liver oil and cinnamon water so again going to triturate it properly and then after proper trituration i will transfer it into measuring cylinder and then make up the volume so now after that i will proceed for the volume make up after proper trituration i pour our emulsion in this measuring cylinder then make up the volume up to 10 ml with the cinnamon water and after volume make up now i am going to transfer it into this container and then we will proceed for next labeling part so now move towards labeling part so the labeling of formulation emulsion 10 ml for abc that is name of patient register number xyz that is number given in the register dispensed by equivalent name of pharmacist date manufacturing date september 2020 storage condition store in cool and dark place oven for another direction check for before use and use as directed by physician manufactured by elman pharmacy nasik result the 10 ml of this emulsion is submitted in this amber colored glass bottle for the inspection of special instruction written as shake well 